Unity. Unity. Yeah. One body, one mind. One mind, one spirit. One spirit, one mind. Gotta make the world feel it. One body, one mind. One mind, one spirit. One spirit, one mind. Gotta make the world feel it. One body, one mind. One mind, one spirit. One spirit, one mind. Gotta make the world feel it. Feel it. Gotta make the world feel it. Feel it. Yeah. Gotta make the world feel it. One body, one mind. Revelation 21 and 8. Hey, listen, listen up, Luke. We, we see what you're saying, bro, but aren't you living in the flesh? Yes, I'm But you're supposed to walk in the spirit, right? Yes. Run. Right? Yes. All right. Let's see what happens when you don't read. Revelation chapter 21, verse 8. Bring it out. Last book of the Bible, my brother. Last book of the Bible. It's not going to change the context. Let's, no let's see. Out, it's gotta not going to change the context in you your mind. I'm going to let him finish. You got, we, you got to change the context in your mind. That's what the white man ahead. told the black yes, man yes, before too. Revelations chapter 21 verse 8. But the fearful and unbelieving. So the people that scared to keep God's laws, the people that don't believe in God's laws, the word of God read. And the abominable. The abominable, everything that God calls an abomination. Shrimp, crab, lobster, cross-dressing, right. those things, okay? Many more, read. Murderers. Murderers, thou shalt not kill. That's a spiritual thing that you must follow physically, read. And whoremonger, hoeing out your sisters, hoeing yourself. That's a spiritual thing that you practice, should practice physically, read. Right. Marrying our people, read. And sorcerers, witchcraft. Dealing with spirits, but people do it physically, read. And idolaters, worshiping idols. It's a spiritual thing, but they do it physically. Right. People that do that, read. And all liars, people that lie. People that repeat other men's garbage without proof. Right. Well, my pastor said this. That's a abominable thing. That's a sin, because right. you're not proving it with the Bible. All people that's doing that, what? Shall have their part. Shall have the what? Shall have their part. What's a part? If I say, hey man, this yours, this yours. It's a physical thing I'm giving out to you, right? Shall have their part. Read. In the lake. No, no, what? In the lake. In the clouds. In the lake. Read. Which burneth with fire and brimstone. Read. Which is the second. What is it? Which is the second. What is it? Which is the second death. What's the first death, my brother? Spiritual. Second death. Physical, brother. You're going to die both ways if you don't keep God's commandments. Right. God says, don't fear the one that can have kill the body. Fear the one that can kill both right. spirit and body. Physical and spiritual, bro. So what you talking about, bro? Come on, man. Humble down and listen, my brother. We love you. Just listen and humble down, bro. You're telling me to humble myself when you talk over me when I'm trying to tell you. It's not us you know talking what? over you, bro. No, we got to let talk. the Bible this is, speak. This is the right. thing. When I came out here, mm -hmm. I came strictly for the knowledge like he did. Because I'm searching for the truth myself. Okay. But if you can't give it to me the way that I need it, why would I do anything that you say? And the reason why I say that is because that's the exact same thing that the white man did with the same Bible that you you're did? reading out. Yes, he so took that let me exact. Ask you something. Do no, I have you chained with saying. your back against a tree and whipping, saying, "Hey, I told me understand it. something about the images." God said we're not supposed to bow down to because they're objects. We shouldn't give more praise to the object than the person who created all life. Right. right. You know what I'm saying? So that's what it's going into. Because people like, I, I, I just want you to understand, people always say that when they come up. Or oh, are we supposed to have images? But for over 400 years, they never said a damn thing about this image right here. Right, right. 400 plus years, nobody ever said, oh, now it's no images. Right. When we try to prove the black messiah. Right. Not saying that you're doing that, but we have many people come and that's their motive, okay? But images in the Bible. If I took your family away from you, your child grow up and he don't know what his daddy look like. Shouldn't his image matter so that one day he know what his father look like? Right. That's why you got a lot of our kids being adopted to these other races, their families, and they grow up confused. Right. They grow up confused. Like, damn, why, why, why do I look like this? Why don't, why don't I look like mommy, daddy? And then they find out one day they was adopted. They don't even really know their family. They don't even really know their background. They're confused. But that's a part of the curses. Read Hosea chapter 3 and verse 4. Bring it out. For the children of Israel. Who? For the children of Israel. The 
children that are the blood descendants of the slave trade. Right. That's the children of Israel, blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. Read. Shall abide many days without a king. Without who? Without a king. Who's the king? Christ. Who's the king? Christ. Who's the king? Christ. Christ the black Messiah. He's the king of kings and lord of lords yeah. of all Israelites. Okay? The children of Israel will go many days without a king. Without a king. Trump is not our king. Christ is our king. Obama is not our king. Christ is our king. Right. Read. And without a print. Without a what? And without a print. Is not Christ called the Prince of Peace? No. That's Christ. Read. And without a sacrifice. Without what? Without a sacrifice. Because back in the day, we used to sacrifice to, to give oblations for our sins, right? To get forgiveness from God, right? Preach. When's the last time you sacrificed? Well, I think it's the main sacrifice. It's talking about what we used to do back in the day. Right. We're going to go many days without doing that no more. No. Read. And without an image. Without what? And without an image. Because we always had images back in the days, man. We knew who our forefathers looked like. We knew who Christ looked like. When you go to the uh, uh, the Vatican right now, they got images of black Christ everywhere. They do not show it all over the news. They do not show it all over the media. They do not show it in these all, all these other sub-branch churches. There's images in the Bible. How you think Moses knew how to, uh, to build the, the ark? God put the image in his, uh, excuse me, Noah. God put the image in his mind. He put the image in his mind, okay? Do you know, do you know your, your image, even your biblical tribe, my brother, your biblical tribe has an image. Right. What are the Maroons? You know the Maroons, right? Trust me, we know our brother's history. Who are the Maroons? The natives of the of the West Indians, right? Especially Jamaica, right? You know what maroon would mean? What? Dark. Huh? Dark. Dark. Maroon. More means black. What does maroon mean? Uh, maroon means wolf. Right. Bring it That's out. what it means. Maroon means wolf. We're gonna bring that out. Genesis 49, real quick. Genesis 49, real quick. My brother, the Bible the Bible describes you as a wolf. Bring it out. When you listen to so-called West Indian music, Jamaican music, what do they do? What are they doing? They howling like wolves against Babylon. Right. What do wolves do? They howl before they go and attack. Right. All the Jamaican music, what are they talking about? Babylon this, Babylon that, destroy Babylon. Why? Because some sense, y'all still know the scriptures. Right. But because of slavery, y'all haven't connected dots. We've been destroyed, my brother. Right. We've been destroyed. Read. Genesis chapter 49 and verse 27. Yeah. Verse, one. verse 1. And Jacob called his sons and said, Gather yourselves together that I may tell you that we, be, that we shall befall you in the last days. What times are we living in? The last days, right? So our forefather Jacob, also known as Israel, he said, Listen, in the last days, this is how you're going to identify your brother, your sister. Okay, this is how you gonna identify each other. My brother, you from the tribe of Judah, if you didn't know. You from the tribe of Judah, my brother. Okay, you, you from the tribe of Benjamin. We're gonna repeat that, okay? Yes, sir. Verse 27, Benjamin! Who? Benjamin! Look at this sign, my brother. Benjamin, that's who you are. Benjamin. Benjamin. That's Hebrew. Read. That means son of the right. Right. That's right. That's what that means. Benjamin means son of the right. Son of the righteous, okay? Up. The right people. The real Jews according to the Bible, my yeah, brother. Right. Read. Benjamin shall raven as a wolf. So what? Shall raven as a wolf. What is the symbol of, what is the Bible describing the tribe of Benjamin? As a wolf. Right. Images in the Bible, my brother. I was just making a point. No, I'm gonna make a point. Yes, sir. Oh, Christ really look when he was here? Who? This picture. The white one? No, come on, man. Oh, I, 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 that. I thought that's what you was pointing at. Go ahead. No, the black one. Uh-huh. It was the closest representation. It's not as the closest. But is that how Christ looked when he was walking? Let me ask you something. Let me ask you. No, it's like that, this picture when he was walking. That's what I want to know. I know it was black. I know he had woolly hair. It's the closest thing according here. to the words of the Bible. These are okay. witnesses. Right. Right. Let me ask you something. But that doesn't mean it's not correct. 
If I robbed you right now, if I, listen, listen. Image. Listen. Image. Uh -huh. Like for example, this is a picture of you. Santa Claus is an image. They might have skin one fat one, but it's a said image. But when you think about Santa, you think about a white man, right? A white man is a, right? Like right or wrong? Like yeah. So is that accurate or false? It's no, accurate because accurate we've been taught. Santa. That, that's an image of Santa, and even the image of the world, the style of Christ, look like the seizure boy and all the different From areas. what we were taught. From what we were taught. Exactly, but mean. from day one, Christ was a black man. Right. right. You yeah. got to understand something. I agree something, with bro. you. I know that. Don't agree with me. Yeah. Agree with yeah. the Bible, my brother. Right. right. Give me Christ in the Old Testament. It's called a depiction. That's all it is. Yeah, so just a depiction. It's not him. It's a this, depiction. this is the example that's I was trying it. to tell you. That's if it. I rob your house, yeah, right, and you got cameras, and your neighbor saw what happened, wouldn't the description of the image matter to the investigators? Right. We're trying to investigate our ancestors right now. So guess what? Common sense. You don't even have to dig that deep. This is what we get out of it. This is not described at all in the Bible, at all. Right. Not one T, not one I, not nothing. This is a lie. Right. But guess what? Because we've been destroyed, because we hate ourselves, we never question it. Right. No, we never question it. Huh? It's because we lost our heritage. Same Remember thing, bro. When day. you don't question it, of course you lost your heritage. Right. Because you're going on with the life of America. Who put us because, in this state? Huh? Who put us in this state? The most high God, my brother. Exactly. So he didn't but guess what? And he but guess what? Again. God passed the judgment. We put ourselves in this position. Right. He passed the lost. judgment. Exactly. I'm glad like you know that. that. I'm glad you know that. Well, also, glad you have to have Daniel chapter 10 and verse 5. Bring it up. Then I lifted up mine eyes and looked. And behold, a certain man. Sir, what? A certain man. A spirit. A certain man. I'm going to show you Christ in the Old Testament. Read. Clothed in linen, whose loins was girded with fine gold of you His loins, his legs, his, re his lower body. Read. His body also was like the barrel. Because in Christianity, they like to say Christ was a spirit. He's like a puff of smoke like Casper, the friendly ghost. Hell no. Christ ain't friendly at all. Right. Christ is a black man. He's serious. Right. When he comes back, he's going to kill everybody that disobey his father's laws. Right. That's why he's coming back. Christ is a man of business. Right. He's not coming back with lollipops and flip-flops, brother. Bring it out. He's not coming like that. So that's why when we see true followers of Christ, they're like, why he yelling? Why he Because Christ was an austere man. Right. That's why in 2020, they don't take the black man serious. Because you're learning white man Christianity. Right. But when you read black man God's laws, you're like, damn, I got to stand up straight. Right. I got to talk with grace on my voice. Christ talk like a man. Right. Damn, that's in the Bible? That's love, bro. Right. Cry aloud, spread. Give me that, give me that, brother. Give me, give me. That's right. I would say cry aloud, spread. Now, finish right. it. And his face as the appearance of lightning, uh -huh. and his eyes as a lamp of fire, and his arms. His what? And his arms. My arms, read. And his feet. And his feet, because Revelation talked about only his feet. But in the Old Testament, it says arms and his feet. Right. What? Like and colored. Like what? Like and colored. Don't we always hear that color's not in the Bible? Bring it well, up. the word color is right here. Right. Like in color, meaning the exact color of. That's what it's saying. Read. And like color to polished brass. What color is brass, my brethren? What color is brass? The metal. Your color. My color. That's right. right. Bring it up. Like the like the like the third place medal in the Olympics. Right. But let's see how how brass it was. Give me Revelation. Let's see how brass it was. Let's see how brass it was. Because you gotta understand the prophets, they described, they gave a description to the best of their, their, their ability at that time. Okay? Like when they talk about missiles, they call them arrows. But he they they were specific when they was naming his, his description of his skin color. Read. Revelations chapter one and verse 14. Bring it out. Verse 15. And his feet. Like a fine brass. There you go again. Same, same type of color is being specific. If I say brass, you know brass don't look like uh, steel. You know. We know brass already has a color, right? Let's see. As if they burned in a furnace. Say Christ's feet was so black, it looked like it burned in a furnace. That's right. right. Now we know some people, you know, got houses with the double, double oven. But back then they had them old school brick ovens, right? Right. Them things get so hot you couldn't even put a thermometer in there. The thermometer will melt. 
Right. You put right. white rice. You put white rice in the oven. It gets black. Right. right. So if something's already brown and it gets burned. What color is it, my brother? That's black. 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 So the Lord is Savior. The, the, the perfect man that walked the earth who came to be an example for you and for me. So we can't say an excuse in 2020. Oh man, ain't nobody perfect. Well damn, give me, give me Hebrews too. You can't say nobody perfect. Yes sir. Yes sir. Awesome, last one. Yes sir, last one. Oh John. You gotta understand, Christ came to be an example. Christ is our head. Right. Cause back in the days, guess what? Our leaders, they was covering their head when they went in the temple. So it it, it kind of it kind of irks me, brother, that we have respect when we go to the courthouse. No problem. Yeah, yes sir. Yes sir, Mr. Yeah, I got. I respect your building, Mr. White man. But the words of your Lord and Savior, bro, He said, "I'm your head." When my words are coming out, your head needs to be uncovered, bro. It's something simple that you battling, bro, that you could just fix right now, bro. Read Hebrews chapter two and verse sixteen. For surely he took not on him the nature of angels. So Christ did not take the nature of angels. He didn't come with no butt naked with wings. He didn't take the nature of angels. Right. That's what they teach you in Greek mythology. Right. Angels, right. half man, half god, like Hercules or whatever, Zeus and all that crap. Read. Right? Right. But he took on him the seed. The what? The seed. The what? The seed. Of Abraham. What is the seed? What a man carry? What you carry down here? What you carry? You carry sperm, seed, yeah. right? Sperm, yeah. Seed is sperm, right? Yeah. He said he carried a sperm of Abraham. So Christ came as a man, not That's an angel. Right. That's right. That's okay. The an angel don't bleed. Man bleeds. Right. Christ died for us, my brother. Right. Read. Verse 17. Wherefore, in all things it behooved him. In some things. And all things, and emotional things, and all things, in every way possible, it was necessary. Read, and behold him to be made like unto his brethren. To be what? Be made like unto his brethren. The Bible said Christ was made like his brethren in them. Yeah. How was his brethren made? Through sex. Right. So that Immaculate Virgin Mary and all that, they don't understand lies. that, bro. That's lies, man. They don't understand that. Virgin means young woman of marital age. Meritable age. That's what it means. It also means a woman ain't never been touched. But guess what? You got to put it together to see what happened. That's a class right there. You know what I'm saying? We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold, from Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone, 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.